Um, uh, Saeed has a second question. Um, I don't know if you've seen the numbers at the bottom of the screen because I did not see them. Uh, these are the numbers of uh, the usual numbers you get if you have any questions to call uh, with the Twitter and the Facebook and the emails as well. Uh, Saeed says, I recall one day listening to Sunnah or uh, Surah Al-Baqarah. Then I heard the ayah when Allah mentions that Musa said, فَتُوبُوا إِلَى بَارِئِكُمْ so I checked the word bari'ikum in the dictionary and it translated to your creating, which confused me. What is the meaning behind this word? First of all, interpreting the meaning of the Quran is not for any Tom, Dick, or Harry. Now, if you knew Arabic, immediately you would have understood this. But because you do not know Arabic, it is not correct for you just to go to a dictionary and seek the meaning of a particular word. Because the Arabic language is a vast and rich language. It's a living language, not like these new languages that have emerged recently, such as English, for example. Two years ago, if you read something in English, you would not be able to understand it today because this is a new language. It is not an original civilized language. However, Arabic is the totally different. Yani for example, the word Ayn has a number of meanings in Arabic. So one famous meaning is the alphabet, the letter Ayn. My name is Asim. The first letter is Ayn. So this is one meaning. Also, Ayn means an eye, which is the organ that I see with. Also, Ayn means a spring of water. Fiha Aynun Jariya, Allah says in the Quran. A fourth meaning is a spy. Wakana Aynan Lil Mushrikeen. He was a spy for the idol worshippers. A fifth meaning can be the object itself. When we say Ainu Shay, this thing by itself. So there are many, many meanings of it. You cannot come to Fiha Ainun Jariya and go to the dictionary and look for Ain and it tells you a spy. So there's a running spy in it, mm, it doesn't work. There's a running eye in it, it doesn't work, and so on. So you must, first of all, know how to uh, uh, deal with Arabic, first of all. Second of all, you have to know the levels of interpretation of the Quran. So the best and highest level is to interpret Quran with the Quran, then the Quran with the Sunnah, then the Quran with the statements and interpretation of the companions, then the Quran by Arabic. But translating or interpreting the Quran by only Arabic, this is the wrong thing uh, to do. Anywhere around the world, Stay connected with Huda TV's latest news and programs through Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Skype, and Instagram. It's fast and easy. Stay up to date with your favorite shows and scholars today. Huda TV, a light in every home.